My name is Emilio Hernandez. I'm 22 years old. I train out of Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy based out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. My instructor's name is Ray Casillas. I've been training under him for about eight years now. I started when I was 14. When I first came into the store, they all, you know, welcomed me with open arms. And, you know, I felt part of the group. I, you know, I felt like I was a part of the family. And, you know, I was traveling a lot with my main instructor, Ray Casillas. And then he asked me to start helping him teach. And that's kind of where I started. When it comes down to teaching, you have to be very precise with the movements. You have to be very on point with the positioning. Um, but honestly, it helped me really with my jiu-jitsu because it sharpened up my techniques. Um, and now I feel like I've tried to follow in race footsteps of this is a family atmosphere. We need to treat everybody like, you know, they're a part of the family, make them feel comfortable, make them feel welcome. My nickname is Scramble King. Um, I got that from my, the way I compete. I'm very big about scrambling out of positions and being very mobile when I'm rolling. I do like to, um, you know, work from the standing position and then, you know, getting the dominant position on top. Uh, but I would like to say a lot of my style does have to do with a lot of like moving pretty quickly, but also just scrambling out of different positions. When I get ready to compete, whether it's major, it's not, you know, I always try to focus and look at them the exactly the same. That way, you know, there's no nerves. You know, I always try to tell myself it's just another day. It's just another tournament. When I'm in here at the gym training, you know, I'm trying to make sure that my technique's pretty on point. So I'm drilling a lot of different positions, drilling a lot of different scenarios, and I'm making sure that I put myself in bad positions. That way I can work out of them. So I always have to be ready for what comes next. I'm literally just in my head picturing exactly what I want to accomplish. When it comes down to competing or motivating me to come in every day, I do enjoy the whole learning aspect. There's always something new, there's always something different to learn. But I think what motivates me the most is I'm trying to improve myself on a daily basis. It does help me and that's what kind of motivates me because it puts me in a better mindset and a better mood after training each day. My training partners motivate me to push harder and to learn and we're literally always pushing each other and I think that's what makes us, you know, strong is because we can push each other and get and know that we need to push each other when it comes down to rolling with each other. My overall goal in um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is to become a black belt world champion. I've seen some of my coaches become world champions. Honestly, it's the time that you put in. The more time that you put in on the mat, that's what's going to take, you know. You got to make sure that everything that you're doing is with a purpose, but honestly, you know, most of the jiu-jitsu that we see is from major, major cities. And most people, when I do mention that I'm from Springer Hall, Tennessee, the first thing that they respond with is they didn't realize that Tennessee had jiu-jitsu. When it comes down to it, there is a lot of great uh, athletes out here, a lot of great people. Whenever I compete or do jiu-jitsu or when I travel to these things, you know, I want to prove that there's more to jiu-jitsu than just within these bigger cities. You know, I want to prove to the world that, you know, there's more than what we see right now.